What's up friends, Adriana here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when I post next. So today, the video is going to be a little different than others. It's actually kind of a trailer for a longer video to come. This past Memorial Day weekend, my family decided to take on the task of putting hardwood floors in three of our upstairs bedrooms. This project has definitely been quite the undertaking. We are still not finished with it and it's been just about a week now, but I thought I'd give you guys a little taste of what we've been up to and what this whole process is from removing carpet to installing hardwood. So here's your little taste. We started this project at the holy grail of home improvement stores, the Home Depot. Here I am pushing a cart to the aisle where the wood is, but we didn't end up needing it because they brought the wood right out to our van with a forklift. We brought it home and unloaded it into the house where it had to acclimate to the climate for a few days before installation. In the meantime, we cleaned out the three rooms. Here I am moving some of the heavy furniture out. It was a struggle. We spent two days cleaning out our rooms, getting rid of everything off the walls, all our furniture, and emptied out our closets. Then we got to the fun stuff. We started ripping up the carpet, which was actually extremely easy. Then there was a lot of pulling up staples, hammering off the tack strips, vacuuming, more ripping up carpet and carpet padding, hammering out those tack strips, and a lot more vacuuming. Once that was all done, it was time to start on the flooring. You can see the red rosin paper down in here. That goes underneath the hardwood, and I honestly still don't really understand the purpose of it. But anyway, my mom and I are laying out some wood trying to get it organized and ready for installation. This part took a long time and was very tedious. Basically, we were just opening up the bundles and mixing them up and laying out rows to make the installation more efficient. Then came the actual installation. This was another long, tedious part, but here I am doing my new favorite job, using the massive pneumatic staple gun to get those pieces of wood in place and secure. And then here I am nailing in the last board in my room, the first room we finished. Yay! The next day, on to the second room, my sister's room. Here I am again, stapling the floor into place. And in the third and final room, I'm rolling out the rosin paper. That's that red paper that goes under the wood and I'm stapling that down. Moving right along, this room definitely took the least amount of time. We finally knew what we were doing and had a good workflow going. We just had the last little bit left here and we were very excited to be almost finished. The next day we sanded. My dad went around with a large sander getting the majority of the surfaces and my mom and sister and I traded off with the smaller orbital sander to get the edges and the other hard to reach places. This is where we ended. All that's left to do is seal and finish the floors then wait for it to dry and move all our stuff back in. So that's where we ended. This project is taking a little bit longer than we thought it would. It's probably gonna be about two weeks total. We've put on the first two coats of poly to finish and seal the floors. We're probably gonna need to do a third because it's brand new hardwood flooring. So I don't know if I'll have a video for you guys on Friday because this has been quite the process and there's still a good amount of stuff to do before it is completely done but there will be a video next week and it'll be the full video of this complete process from start to finish. So make sure you guys check back in, make sure you have your post notifications on. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you. Stay safe and stay sane. See you in my next video.